don't know where to start. He's missing in our hearts, and it really, really hurts. Tonight, a community is in mourning after a man was killed last night. Earl Royball was shot at H2 Hose Car Wash. Earl would have walked away if he had known that there was going to be a violent confrontation. He later died at the hospital. Royball's friends say it all started over an argument about a car wash bay. They say he was a veteran and a community servant working with the VFW here in Albuquerque. He was also a member of the Onagiris Motorcycle Club. Tonight, members of that club and other groups continue to mourn Roy Ball's death. Action 7 News reporter Justin Matthews was at the vigil. He shows us how Roy Ball is being remembered. Motorcycles hummed. People had candles. Some even used FaceTime to include those who couldn't make it to the vigil. We all lost one heck of a brother. Everyone gathered right where their dear friend and family member, Earl Royball, was shot and killed while washing his motorcycle. This was a senseless act of violence yep. in our community. Some people closest to Royball addressed the crowd reflecting on his life. Earl will never be replaceable. He is one of a kind, will always be uh, one of a kind. And thanking everyone for coming out to do this. I see all these people here that came out to support my family for something that happened so tragic. Friends say Roy Ball was a caseworker for the Department of Veterans Affairs. Everyone at the vigil honored his dedication to veterans by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Liberty and justice for all. Right after the shots were fired Sunday night, friends say two men rushed over to help Roy Ball. They were at tonight's vigil. And looking toward the future. Justice for Payaso. People hoping justice will be served.